Blog Talk Radio. goes through. For instance, it can be your 
lead magnet page where you get their name and email address into your autoresponder. So you can create a relationship with them. That's the first thing you need to do when it comes to building and growing your business because the money's in the mailing list. It's not just that you are out there to sell, but you're out there to build relationships because people buy from those that they know, like, and trust. And just because you've got them in your autoresponder or your email list doesn't mean that they already know, like, and trust you. All it means is they have an interest in the product that you're selling. But if you want them to purchase from you, you have to build that relationship. So here's how I would recommend going about this. Free. Then rich. It takes a lot less money, therefore less time to be financially free than it does to be rich. So someone says, I'm a millionaire. I go, great. Where do you live? Because where I live, we barely can buy a house for $1 million. You see, to be rich, you probably need to be in the multi-millions. Rich is rich, but you can be free by earning, depending on your lifestyle. $65,000 a year, you can live a decent life, depending on what you're doing and your wants and your needs, especially if you have a mortgage paid and debt already handled. It's a whole different world to try and, and get to $20 million versus $65,000. It's the biggest problem for most people who are confusing the two. Do what it takes to get rich, which can take forever in order to be free. Free can take a very, very short time if you know what you're doing. So now, can you take the wealth and success of what comes next? If you're not living every aspect of your life at 100%, then all you have to do is be willing to learn. Because if you want to be living at 100% like other rich and successful people, by making choices based on their inner power, not fear. Fear will keep you from having what you truly want in life. And that's not the way to live. So to make sure that it doesn't happen to you, I highly encourage you to join me and learn what it takes to be rich. And think about it. If you want to be free and not rich, what do you need to do? Well, it's a, it's a, a game that you have to learn. And the best way you do that is to play it. So what should we do is, is this. Think about it. Throughout my life, I watched people chase that elusive dream of having enough money to do whatever they want. So being rich is overrated. We, conflict, we conflict the concepts of wealth and happiness. No matter how many times we're told that money can't buy happiness, we don't buy it. We try to numb the reality of an existence by overexpending. 
buying things that we don't need to suit our weary soul. When we do this, we're only burdening ourselves more. The stuff of life we are stale. I admit, I've done it too. Early in my career, I worked hard to build wealth so that I could have stuff. What I found was that I was trading consumerism for security and happiness. I felt like I had to keep striving to achieve more and keep up a lifestyle that was becoming increasingly stressful. Now, I'm focusing on freedom instead of wealth, and I've created a series of trade-offs. The trade-offs from a prestigious job to a less prestigious job, the pressure of reporting directly to the CEO is not for me. I did it for years, and although the salary and other perks were nice, I gained other things that I didn't want, like weight. Higher blood pressure, cranky attitude towards coworkers. Now I have a day job that takes me up only 40 hours a week instead of 60 plus hours each week. I have more time for my life. The things that really matter take precedence now. The best way to do this is to find something that we truly love to do. And what does that mean? That means if you're doing something that you really love to do, then you're putting in the work. But then you're also beginning to realize that having time for your family to build those relationships, to do the things that truly help you begin to see yourself, as the person that you truly want to be, from taking orders to calling the shots. Having a less prestigious day has allowed me to grow my own small side business that focuses on nonprofits and is a passion of mine. I'm not trying to make it big. I'm trying to make it meaningful. I'm fun to have my own operation where I go to make all the decisions. There's no checking with anyone, no personal that uh, personnel that I am managing. It's just me and the work. Getting to call the shots is a luxury. Many of us don't now, and I appreciate it. So, it's just understanding. So getting to call the shot is a luxury many of us don't have and appreciate it every time I sense a need to take a stand, to shift the course. Just today, I turned down a potential client because I just didn't have a good feeling about, <laughs> about the work in the organization. I like the control of knowing that when I need to walk away from a situation, I can do so without worrying about repercussions. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about having freedom and opening up to understanding exactly what it is that you want to be doing and do what you enjoy doing. To get through such stressful times, I used to buy things. Sometimes it was a spa day. Other times, a shopping spree. Starbucks was a stop of at least once or twice a day. Car leases, vacations, where I spent half the time on the phone with work added. And financially, it became hard to manage. I no longer have any credit card debt. I work hard to continue to build my savings. My family buys only what it needs, and it turns out 
We have more than we need all the time. Have a fulfilling, purposeful existence. Have money, need less reliance on stuff as coping mechanisms. From one big income stream to a few smaller ones. When I have the big job, I have one big paycheck. There wasn't time for anything else. That big paycheck was really a big set of handcuffs. I was chained to my job with little time for anything else. If I wanted to hold onto the paycheck, I know that I have a few revenue streams from my regular job. My side business of writing here and the book that I published, I can actually relax a bit. I have the luxury of choosing clients and choosing what I want to write in my life today. I love my life. It's comfortable and interesting. I am surrounded by family, friends, and wonderful pets who make me laugh. So, you know, if you look back, <laughs> and how technology has helped change how we do business today, what you're finding is that by going on and doing all the little things that help you or the, that you really enjoy doing, like if you like writing, there are a lot of companies that are looking for writers to write articles for them, to write blogs. What used to be a secretary today is a virtual assistant. The job titles have changed where we work from has changed because we're now going back to working remotely. And for even large companies or small companies, what this means is that you choose the hours you want to work. You choose where you want to work. You choose how you want to work. And this allows you to have the freedom that you want, and the difference between being rich. Often, it's just understanding and adapting to who you are. And you know, the best thing you can do is learn to listen. Listen to others. Listen to your inner voice. I think this is something that we often forget about because we're so used to other people telling us, and putting these mindsets in us that you have to work for someone else. Back in the 20th century, around the mid-20th century, it was all about going to work for the corporation and working your way up into management. Then, towards the late 70s, and especially in the 80s, when corporations started to merge and they started cutting back. That was, and then in the 90s is when all of those layoffs happened and people had to change how they looked at a job. And then with the 21st century, technology took over in how we do business today. So all of these things are beginning to change, change how we see our life, our professions, even what it means to truly be free. And a lot of that changed with the baby boomer generation. Remember, you can go to my website, and that website is the number one personalcareercoach.com, and you can sign up for individual coaching or group coaching and learn the skills, build your online presence. 